All right, so you're here. Oh, I forgot to turn on my ladybug, but um, so let's do that real quick. This is, yeah, this is the only time you, we're going to use it. All right, so the question was, the question was, okay, the ball is launched at 51 degrees and traveled 24 feet before returning to its launch height. See how we get this formula. All right, so using this formula, solve for the initial velocity. Okay, and then using this formula, once you get the initial velocity, using this formula, uh, once you get the, using this formula, find the time that it was in the air. All right, so how did we do that? I mean, how, where did these come from? Um, if you know how to plug these in, go right ahead and you can and you can knock yourself out but see i've made you teeth because you know this number two times so I'll, I'll write it out for you so you so you can see what it what it looks like so um but here we go all right so one of the things that we do one of the things that we do is we've got uh this is mini lesson 12 mini quiz 12 notes Okay, so the mini quiz 12 notes. What do I have here? Oh, this is a much better pen. This pen is much more better. Much, much better. All right, so here we go. So the initial angle, 51 degrees. Initial velocity, I don't know. The range that it's going to travel from this 8.5 feet to this 8.5 feet height, the distance this thing's going to travel is 24 feet. Okay, so the basket would be right about here, and the ball go in here, and here's the ball, and it would go in here, and then so we get so that just kind of made the calculation a little bit easier. All right, so well, oh well, that's easy because we know that we know that the range is equal to 24 feet. We're going to convert that to meters. And I kind of did that for you. Here's all the meters. Um, meters is 7.13 meters. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check that. Oh, it's 7.315. Aha! I need to change the answer. 7.315. Okay. I, I need to fix that. There we go. 7.315. Okay. There it is. So I need to change this. And, I, and I'll do that when we when we go back. But but anyway, so, so that doesn't affect what we're doing here. All right, so it'll affect your answer. And trust me, I'll go back and fix that. Um, so that's the range. And, and the range is equal. So in meters, the range is equal to this. Okay. The range is equal to that in meters. So, well, that's easy because we got V naught X times the time it's in the air is equal to 7.315 meters. Okay. Well, there, uh, oh, a little, a little twist. I don't have a, I don't have a number for that or that. I've got two unknowns in one equation. Dang. Dang. So this is in my X coordinates. So maybe there's something I can find in my Y coordinate that'll help me. And so here we go. So we go, oh, well, okay, so in my y coordinate, I know this that vy final equals v not y um, minus g times t. Okay, well, I still don't know v not y final. I still don't know t, but hold on. I'm going to use this formula to, to get an equation for t and stick that in there. All right, so here we go. So watch this. So I guess, well, I know the Vy initial is equal to V naught times the sine of 51 degrees. Okay. And over here, I knew that V naught X is equal to V naught times the sine, the cosine of 51 degrees. Okay. Times the cosine of 51 degrees. All right. So, and I also know that what goes up must come down with the same speed. So therefore, I've got... Uh, when when we do all the algebra, I came up with, you know, and we've done this before, I came up with the time, 
is equal to 2 times v naught times the sine of the angle divided by g. Ah, well, there we go. Well, that'll help us, but we first we need to find out what, um, and, and then we can um, use, so what I'm going to do is take this quantity and stick it in here. All right, so watch. Here we go, because we're about done with this. So I've got V naught, here we go. We've got V naught um, X times T is equal to uh, the 7.315 meters, which I need to go back and change in the thing. And I've found out that T, and I know that V naught X is equal to V naught times the cosine of 51. And I know that um, uh, T now is equal to um, 2 V naught over the sine of uh, 51 degrees divided by G. So we're going to take this and stick it in here. Take this, stick it here, take this and put it in there. So I wind up with uh, V naught times the cosine of 51 times 2 times V naught times the sine of 51 divided by G. And I can put the whole thing divided by G since we're just multiplying. So it's, this is the same thing as this over 1 is equal to 7.315 meters. Oh my goodness. And here's a little trig for you. The cosine of 51 times the cosine of 51 is equal to, there's no way you would have known this, is equal to the sine of 2 times 51, which is the sine of 102 degrees. That's where we got that. Okay. Okay, and then you take it from there. All right, I'm going to stop here because I think we went on long enough, and then we'll come back.